I don't think uh, I'm, we're starting. We're, we're I'm starting to record, my friend. So we can just talk. We can start the show whenever you want. You tell me. Yeah. Should we start? Yeah. Why not? Why not? All right. Well, we're going to start. Hold on. Let me find our graphics. Here we uh, go. Should I find another picture in my uh, sure, back, why not background? Yeah, sir. Sure. Why not? Here we go. We're going to start the show. Hey, everybody! Welcome to the show. Let us let us run the opening now for you. <laughs> this is two O F. Entertainment. And we're here. So Morton, just so we could let everybody know, Morton has a new show coming out. It's going to be called Hearts and Arts. Um, so he'll be interviewing artists from all over the world. Um, and that starts next week. So for you people that are into the arts, I'll we'll have a new show for you. And we'll have some really cool artists on. And that should be very fun. Um, that'll come on, if I'm not mistaken, on Friday afternoons. So people have a... And we will of- not... We will not uh, only speak about art. I want to know the people behind uh the, the mask the, the the art mask yeah the art i, I, I think it's gonna be a fun show i'm looking forward to seeing um yeah. your first couple of guests so that'll be yeah cool. so very cool but before this before we 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 were talking off air which i guess we're going to talk on here we we're talking about budapest and romania and microsoft and camilla harris so we're and the norwegian king i don't know if we can talk about that on air because you're in norway but uh <laughs> we're just, we're just, i would be killed yeah, we can't talk about that. But we were just talking about Camilla Harris is now looks like she's going to be the Democratic nominee for the president to run for president against Donald Trump. And we were speaking about it that no one really knows anything about Camilla Harris. So it'll be interesting to see how she, I think, plays against Donald Trump. Is she's a lawyer, isn't she? She's the lawyer. lawyer. Right? She, she was yeah. the attorney general of California. Um, yeah. And then she became, I guess, vice president, if you will. So does anybody in Europe know yeah. her? I mean, like when you guys heard it was her, were you guys like, ooh, it's Camilla Harris? Or were you guys like, who the hell is this chick? Camilla, come on. Okay, so no one knows. No, 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 no. Yeah. So she, um, she, she's from New York, yeah? No, no, I think she's from um, California. California, okay. Yeah. Santa her Barbara. Is, um her mom is half as an American Indian, and I don't mean like you know yeah, war yeah, pape yeah, Indian, yeah, but yeah. an India from no, no, India. No. So she's her mom's American Indian, and her dad is uh, Jamaican American. Okay, good. And so and Camilla's Camilla. We've invited her on all our shows to come talk, but you know, our shows are too big for these people; they can't come on. So I understand. So it's too big. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. We only they're speak just with, just with, with the audience we have. I understand. You know, it, it it it's ranking. We speak with UFOs and and, uh, and <laughs> right. we speak with bigger people. <laughs> 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 we speak with much bigger people than than with Camilla Harris. But she's always we always. Well, I I told the story yesterday on Adam on the Eve. David has literally sent emails to Putin. I, I'm assuming Biden, Camilla Harris. Um, missile boy from North Korea, um, Xi in China, to all their people going, hey, if you ever want to be interviewed, you can come on our show to be interviewed. And I and it did this like six months ago. And I said, what happened? He goes, no one's ever responded. I'm like, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> so, you know. But what, what, what about the orange guy? The orange guy? The, um, uh, uh, he is a faithful watcher of the Havana Cigar Show. He loves the Havana Cigar Show, and Riza is in love with him, and Riza invites him on every week, and he still hasn't accepted the invitation to come on the uh, Havana Cigar Show. But the problem with the orange guy is he doesn't drink anything, and he doesn't smoke cigars. So I say, Riza, what are we going to talk to him about? Because then we can't really say, what's your favorite cigar? We'd have to be like, okay, tell us about your politics. Mm, That's not really that show. It's not a political show. Then that you're going to Lost Dollar Business Club or some other show. So it's kind of like yeah. if he comes on, it's sort of like, okay, Mr. Trump, we talk about scotch and cigars and, and mythical dinner guests, but I guess he would be the dinner guest and we would be able to ask him questions, but I don't know how that would go. So we've invited him. I guess Riz, Riz reaches out to him every week. We'll see what happens. You never know. Trump oh, only, fa- only fake answers. 
Yeah, well, I, and who cares? It's a Havana Scotch and Cigar show. Like we can, Yeah, I know, so I know, I know. That would be a you fun know, show. I, I, I recently came home from, from a holiday in, in Spain, Malaga, right. and I know everybody wants to know... Uh, uh, more about that, but but sure. we will we will take we take it that later. But I I uh, I was inside and I suddenly I had the urge to have um, some um, cigars. Okay. And, Are you told me this story? Bought, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I bought some Nicaraguan. Uh, Nicaraguan. Okay. Cigar. Yeah. And. Uh, the storekeeper told me it, it it was much better just the other side of uh, of um, Cuba, you know, and they delivered and they traded, so it was the same. <laughs> yeah. So here's here's the problem: they call them New World cigars. So if they're not Cuban, they're New World. New World cigars are okay. Okay, so we I enjoy my New World cigars, and I smoke my New World cigars. I even smoke them on the show, but smoking a Cuban. Cigar. Yeah, I'm not talking about a person because apparently that's illegal. But smoking a Cuban <laughs> cigar um, is much different, and there's a little more flavor. It's a little more robust. You can taste things. It's just there's something about it, and also you know they've been doing cigars since like the 1600s. So there's also something yeah. about there's an old world elegance to it. The New World cigars, um, what I find is a lot of smoke. And I mean that in a good way. Like you light it up, it's got a nice flavor and a lot of smoke. But what you don't get is a lot of flavor. And like I'll read these yeah. reviews like, oh, I tasted the nuts. And I take no, you don't. I don't taste it. It's, it's not. It's a lot of it's a lot of aroma. And I'm good with that. But when I smoke a Cuban, then I start tasting little things here and there. Um, but, you know, it's it's whatever you want to smoke. I always tell I, I smoke a a new world thing called CAO Brazilian Amazon. I smoke Oliva V's and I love them. They're great. Mm. They're new world and they're great. And they're, they're good smokes. And then when I do my Cubans and I smoke all the Cubans and I'm, I'm in love with those too, but I like trading off because when I smoke the new world, it's cool. And then I go back to Cubans and I appreciate them more. Um, But 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 I I told you, you should have called me. I would have helped you. Yeah, but but I have been smoking Cubans in, in, uh, in Romania, in, in, um, uh, because we were, I was, you know, as Norwegian back in uh, the days when, uh, before they entered uh, European, uh, the EU, you know, All right. um, I, I was down there to investigate uh, in, in a company I, I worked on if, uh, if we should uh, bring labor uh, from from Romania right. to 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 reach Norway and and we did but that that's another thing but we were invited everywhere and the mm-hmm. word gets spread so fast that in our luxury hotel there was incoming calls all the time right. and uh, we were invited you know um, at least then um, not Budapest but Bucharest was okay. uh, divided in six uh, zones. Okay. Uh, yeah, and all of those zones has had one mayor. So, <laughs> so it was six six mayors. Yeah. So um, we were in District Four, maybe the worst one because you know in the old times they had people living under uh, under the earth you know with with glue and uh, yeah uh but he had some extraordinary uh, you know with with really a nice package uh, you know in in um, and it said all, all over you know they wanted to, you know it's, it was cuba all the way all right, right. Uh, you know and and it was very very long very long uh, but i i asked him straight away after having some uh, uh, very uh, dangerous um, homebrew they have down there <laughs> right <laughs> then uh, i asked him come on let, let let me let me get one and i'm sure i used a week on that because it, uh, I, you know about cigars, but it, it was, 
I'm, like I'm not pit, oh, like pitching, like, no, but but yeah, yeah. So it's like a Churchill, like a six or seven inch long, a big cigar. Is it like a big Churchill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. big big cigar with yeah, a yeah. lovely, uh, you know, the, the, this uh, knot uh, on, on. Oh, the knot uh, at up. the end. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and but 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 it was it was so smooth, you know, because earlier on we, I've I've tried other cigars, but they were it, it, this was so soft. Yep. Well, you have to remember the when they make the cigars in Cuba, right? They like I said, they've been making them for five hundred years, and it's a generational thing. So a lot of the the, the women or even the men that work there, they're if your 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 mom worked there, your dad worked there, their mom and dad worked there, and then their mom. I mean, so it becomes a generational thing. So a lot of it's pride. Um, I don't know if it's yeah. still that way, but I I've not had a bad Cuban cigar. I mean, it's just there's something very nice about a good Cuban cigar with a glass of scotch yeah. and, or a steak or both, um, and it's perfect. Yeah. So and the New World cigars are good. Like I smoke, like I said, it just depends on whatever. And I'm very much a I like what I like, whether it's a two dollar cigar or a two hundred and fifty dollar cigar. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. I smoke what I like to smoke, and that's it. And I'm not smoking to impress anybody. Like if anybody no, watches no, no, the, no, the cigar no, show no, that no, we no. do um, with Riza and um, and Usman, and he's a cigar sommelier. Um, yeah. You know, we'll put we'll put, I'll bring on my CAO a Brazilian Amazon, which is like a four or five dollar cigar, and he raves about that cigar. It's yeah. like, oh my God, it's the best new world cigar. And, you know, and then I can bring on um, like a, a Rocky Patel $100 cigar and he'll be like, that's a piece of crap. And I'm like, yeah, it is. I was, I was a gift, so I'm smoking it. So it, price of the cigar means nothing. It is no. really how they make it, the construction of it, the age is all this other factors that go into it. And, you know, the marketing makes you, oh, I need to smoke this because it's a cigar. And really in the real world, most people don't know what a cigar is. If they see it and they go, what are you smoking? And you say X, Y, Z. It means nothing to 99% of the planet. And the yeah, 1% yeah. of the planet that it actually means something to, it, half of them know that that really means absolutely nothing. It's just that you just happen to like Partagas, Monte Cristo, Fuentes, Oliva, whoever. And the other part that don't know anything other than they've seen the ad are going to be like, oh, that's a great cigar. that have never smoked a cigar in their life. You know what I mean? So but, it's but, one of those but type of things. Is it? Is it? Um, I've, I've been to um, uh, a lot of wine tasting things, mm -hmm. you know, uh, right. and and that's also some layer, you know, and right, right. and when they say, "Are you able to taste the uh, right, right. Rub rubber yeah. in in, yes. in this?" Yeah, yeah. But what the fuck is wrong with you? I I, I told the guy. There's no rubber. It's it's a red wine. Yeah, yeah but I, you have to. I like red rubber. Wine too. Yeah, I've I've tasted. I've done the wine thing. I have never ever in my life been able to taste anything. Then they go, "Do you taste the chocolate? Do you taste?" No, I don't. It's yeah. just wine. It's it's a grape. <laughs> I had a grape this morning with breakfast. I it's a grape. I don't get. I so I don't. And I'm the, and unfortunately for me. Even with the Cubans, I, I can taste a little bit, but not like some of these guys that taste it. And they go, oh, it's rough and smoky. And what, with the, same with the wine. I'm like, I just don't. That's not my thing. I'm, I'm there to actually enjoy it. Um, I can taste things in food more than I can taste it in a drink yeah. and or a, um, a cigar. And, and, then, and then if I go to like a Michelin restaurant, you know, everyone's like foo-foo. And they're like, oh, my brother. I'm like, I have to go have a hamburger after this because I'm hungry. You know, you spend six hundred dollars on a meal, and they give you three little pieces of something, and they go, "Wasn't that wonderful?" And I'm like, "No, that's not wonderful. That's what the hell is this shit?" So you know, it's like, yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. I don't have that palate where I can taste something and say, "Oh, do you taste?" It's what? No, it's just food. It's just a scotch. Whether it's a fifty-year-old yeah. Macallan or a twelve-year-old Macallan, could care less. Whether and it's the same with cigars. I, the, every yeah. cigar does taste a little different and the smoke tastes different or smells different. So that's how but I judge it on, on that. I have, I have to tell you because I, yeah. I was smoking, um, outside. I, I, I have a wheelchair because my, right. um, I can walk, but I, I do have a, an electric wheelchair because I can't walk that far. So, right. um, here I am in, no, you have me in a box. 
right. at once you say you're you're in a wheelchair you're in a box but you can also use the wheelchair cards there's a lot of cards uh, on uh, using wheelchair let's forget mm-hmm. about that um, okay I, ha- I had my um, uh, what you call the the straw hat but but the american uh, a bit high uh, thing uh, like fedora a oh no a full hatch of fedoras yeah 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 and uh, sitting in a wheelchair uh, yeah. with my uh, bottle holder with with, with the bear <laughs> of course. Because, yeah. That's and, why you have um, a wheelchair. So you just have your bottle of course, holder. Of course, of course, of course. Perpetual and, bar and, um, and, and smoking cigar. And people mm-hmm. came came to me uh, as, uh, you know, s- small aunt, or, or, yeah. or, you know, um, wanted to talk. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, because cigars I, make you accessible. Yeah. yeah. It does. It does. it does. Yeah. I will Why? tell you something else. I, I, when I lived in New York, I had a friend who had a restaurant like on First Street, and I lived on like 43rd. And so we would go to dinner there, you know, on a Friday or Saturday night, a group of us. And we, after dinner, because you can't smoke in the restaurant, we would light up our cigars no. and we would walk all the way back, 40 some odd blocks back to where I lived. It'd be four or five of us. And girls in the in like summer or spring when people could sit outside, when we would walk by where girls were sitting outside and they would see us with cigars, girls would say, come, oh, come here, come here. And we'd come over and they'd be like, oh, my God, that reminds me of my grandfather or my father. And I think mm. for a lot of people, a cigar is a certain place in time where you have a good feeling. Like there's just my – like. My grandfather used to smoke cigars. He's the one who got me into cigars. So for me, mm. there's like a, there's a history for a lot of these girls that were whether they were 20 or 50. There was just yeah. they always had a story if they I saw you with it. a cigar. They'd be like, "Oh my god, that reminds me of so and so." Or blah, blah blah. And nobody was ever like, oh, "That's disgusting." So it's just one of those. I think it just brings a nice feeling over people because ah, you know ah. most guys that smoke cigars just chill. I mean, like I smoke. Like I tell everybody when I go have my cigar is nothing more than a, um, a, a whether it's a 30 minutes a cigar or a two hour cigar, it's nothing more than a 30 minutes to two hour mini holiday for me. Yeah, I make, I'm, if I take my phone out, it's to listen to music or it is to maybe read the newspaper. But most of the time I go, I don't take my phone. It's just me and the cigar and whatever's outside. And I'm okay with that because I don't want to be bothered. I, I, I don't. When 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 I had this night out, uh, I, right. and I bought the the package of uh, some small cigars, doesn't matter, right. so like uh, cigarette, like cigarello things. Right? No, 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 a, a bit bigger, but but okay. uh, it, it it was not cigarellos, but but um, okay. a bit bigger, yeah. Cigarellos. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, cigarellos. Yeah, uh, but I was amazed. Because I'm, I'm just sitting down. I'm, I'm always sitting down when I'm in my wheelchair. Right, right. Uh, sometimes I, I, I raise and I say, "Hallelujah, praise the Lord, I can walk." Oh my God! Uh, I, I've, I've, I've done that, but, but I have a brother. I have some tendencies when, when I drink. Don't, don't right. ever see me drink. Uh, <laughs> but, but, but the thing is. Older, younger women, the LDPG, FG. Oh, the, the LDPG, people, QMO, USC, all yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Right. But, 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 but. yeah. They all came. But one thing, I guess he was 17 to 19-ish. Okay. What is that? What is, really? What is that? What, what, what are you smoking? Wow. It's black. It, it, it's almost black, he said. Oh, it, it's a cigar. Cigar? He didn't know. He never saw one in his life. You should have asked him what planet he just came from. It's like, what dimension or planet did you just come from, sir? Everybody knows what a cigar I, is. I, I think he was a tourist because, because in Malaga, full of tourists, you know. So um, but That's fine. But, but I'm uh, sure wherever he lives, there's cigars. He's got to have seen a cigar before. Yeah, 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 somewhere. But my grandfather uh, never touched it. 
uh, he, he was too Christian to, to do that. But uh, my father, who was earlier a sailor, every Christmas, yeah, it, it was this. And then he bought um, a special cigar rolled in in a special um, paper. I right, remember right. because I took the paper and, and smelled the paper for a long time. You know, I yeah. couldn't get some, you know, but then, then it was Christmas when, when right. father just, the cigar. and yeah. with, with, with a special um, American, special I'm sure because yeah. uh, cigar lights. Well, I want to know about that. It could be a DuPont, which was an American. So it could be an SD DuPont. It was a Mer the American. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's and, funny because my then, grandfather would smoke cigars every night after dinner. Hmm. He actually smoked them all day. But when we got to see him, and I, this is back in the day where you dressed for dinner. Like I remember as a yeah, kid, yeah, 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 yeah. I had to wear, whether it was dress shorts or pants and a blazer, a shirt and a blazer. Yep. Sometimes I had to wear a little tie and sometimes I no tie, just a little, you know, um, pocket square. Yep. And we would dress for dinner. And after dinner, we would sit there and the, the adults, especially my grandfather, would light a cigar and they would just sit there and talk. And the kids would just sit there because that's what you did. You didn't, you know, and you listened. Yeah. And today yeah. I, I I miss that part. I mean, because Ooh. I think it's sad for the kids, right? Because it was like Me they too. Were my grandparents, there were my uncles, everybody was just there. And it was and we had dinner as a family probably four or five times a week. And on the holidays, yeah. It was like there was the adult tables, tables, and then there was the kid tables. And so, you know, you could be 30 and still sitting at a kid table. So you had to wait for somebody to die to move up. But after the dinner, yeah. what would they do? They all lit their cigars. And there's just something about a cigar and, and the camaraderie that it brings. That's why, like, when we do the yeah. cigar show, I like it because it's, you know, we've got, I've got a guy from Pakistan and a guy from the UK and a Jew. Yeah. Okay, two Muslims and a Jew. What happens when they walk into the bar? And we just talk about cigars and life, and it's like kind of here, right? So I do like cigars. It is a great equalizer. And I've, you know, whether someone has a $3 cigar, like I said, or I don't care what the price of your cigar is. You're part of the brotherhood. I do mind, though, and I told the story on, on the cigar show. I asked a guy about a certain cigar. It's like $100 a stick. I go, how is it? And the guy, instead of telling me how the cigar was, instead of saying, um, it had a, it was a good smoke or it had a good flavor, but you know what he, he goes, I bought a box of them. And I was like, who cares? No problem. Morton's left because he doesn't like the fact that I bought a box of cigars. So. <laughs> Luckily I have, well, when I was a child, I was envious, but after that, never, never. Yeah. And that on my, on my uh, mother's and father's grave. Uh, but I Not want to show way. you. I, yeah, yeah. I want to show uh, you the the cigar I bought. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a close up. Let me see. Yeah, there are some things on it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, for you to see this, sorrow. It seems oh, to be okay. sorrow. It's like a yeah. Your background's kind of oh okay. Yeah, I know that cigar. Okay. You know it. Very nice. Yeah, it's a cute little smoke. I've had that before. Okay. Yeah, it's a cute smoke. Zeno. Yeah. Z I, well, if it's I, a Zeno, I, that's from Davidoff. Zeno Davidoff. I thought it maybe it was from a Casdino. Oh, no. If it's Zeno, Z-I-N-O, that's Zeno Davidoff. If it's just a whatever, it's a whole other brand. As long as, listen, at the end of the day, if you like it. That's all that matters. I think I've just lighted it up. Yeah. Do you uh, do you uh, put put some? Uh, I remember my father. He used his. Tongue. No, that's too much. That, that's too much work. You don't you don't like those things. That's what the bands are for. You know, all you do is you just you just clip the top and you just light the cigar and enjoy it. Okay, so the, this old thing. The licking with, uh, them. I don't. I've never seen anybody. I've seen a girl lick, but not a cigar. Um, so yeah, there's no, we don't, yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't let anybody waste their tongues on, on no good looking. So usually, so okay. what happens with the cigar now, the band will stay on the cigar until you yeah. get maybe a couple centimeters away. And really what's supposed to happen then is the heat from the cigar should loosen the glue from the band. The band should just fall right off. 
So for people that okay. don't know, the band isn't for people um, to show off. The band is to keep the cigar wrapped together because if you pull the band off too early, the, the wrapper will come off as well, and then you'll have a bad smoke. Band on the run. The band on the run. There, there you is. go. Yeah, you got to clip you know, the top, it, though. It, it, oh, my it, God. It's, it's like, um, no, but, but it, it's like, uh, you know, yeah. Uh, t talking about the the orange guy and and uh, the new uh, lawyer who's going to save us. Oh, Camilla Harris. Well, we can go back. So the the interesting thing here, we'll switch topics. The interesting thing about Camilla Harris is that all the Democrats are backing her. I think part yeah. of that is because nobody, there's nobody else that's like we always, we were joking for the last six months michelle obama should run for president right because it's a popularity yeah contest. so michelle obama would win hands down right because everyone yeah. loves michelle because they love barack yeah. Yeah. we're good to go the problem yeah. is is that i was reading um in the financial times last night who camilla harris could pick as her vice president now i've heard of these guys but there's nobody there that makes me go oh my god this is awesome so no. part of that is that's going to be part of her issue is like, can you really um, do better than, um, than Trump? And the other issue is the Democrats have such a crappy policies compared to some of the Republican policies. And I'm not talking the ones that are really crazy. I'm just talking about normal everyday policies, yeah. but the Democrats kind of have to change their thinking and their policies so they can, um, go like, okay, this is our policy, not wishy-washy. Now, granted, some of the Republican policies are out there, out there, but the Democrats aren't like, there's nobody's coming up with a good anything. You know, oh. I know immigration's a big thing and we stop this and all this ridiculous. Let's just enough of that. All right. Yes. There's people coming across the border illegally. They're not killing hundreds of thousands of people. You know, they just did a whole thing about that, that that's all Trump misquoted like usual. So, we're going to have illegals come in. Every country does, right? But I mean, what else you got? Like, how are you going to improve the economy? What are we going to do for like healthcare? I mean, you know, what's happening is, is people, I think what's really happening is the middle class and under, not the rich, because the rich, we can mm. afford everything. The middle class. Yeah. So if you're middle class and under, most people can't afford healthcare. And your healthcare you get is shit. Then the health department, like you go to the hospital and they charge you fifty thousand dollars for something that's really four dollars. We don't we don't take care of our citizens mentally, physically, anything. We have more shit in our food than everybody else. Like when we, I go shopping, it's like, all right, I'm gonna buy like you know papaya and uh, I'm good because everything else has chemicals in it, right? So there's nothing yeah, healthy. Yeah. So let's stop no. sucking, and I'm gonna be very blunt here. Let's stop sucking the cock of all these government of not government but all these corporations and and that are writing you checks as a senator or congressman or a president yeah and let's start yeah. watching out for the people why don't we make the people's yeah. life better and stop yeah. like you know getting fisted by all this shit and let's enough with the climate change that's all bullshit like i'm yes the world's yeah, changing yeah. but you want to do yeah. something you should have done something in the 60s Having an electric yep. car is going to fuck it up even more. And now even more finding that electric cars, there's radiation or whatever coming out of that. So if you want to do shit, you're, you're fucked. But if you want to yeah. do something, then you need to do better infrastructure, better this, better that. And until you do that, this is all a hand job. It's a reach around. And I've said that forever. I've said that since I'm a kid. It's like, this is just a game. And you really just have to yeah. say it is what it is. And I don't, and I really have gotten to a point now as I've gotten older, you know, when I turn like 15, I like, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like mm. nobody cares. All that everyone cares about is how rich they can be. And the richer they become, it's like they want more. Nobody really wants to yeah. help anything. And I'm like, you know what? I don't give a fuck. It's not my problem. I have to worry about my own little world. And even then it is what it is. I don't care. And I'm okay with that because at the end, I don't get upset about anything. No. And I look at this shit and I'm like, okay, fine. I mean, I'll, we'll talk but, about it on air. I'll do whatever I do yeah. privately, but I'm not going to like have a heart attack over it. It's a game. And if the orange man no. wins, great. The orange man wins and democracy does what yeah. democracy does. And he's got this vice president candidate who's 
interesting. And if if yeah. Camilla wins, then the Democrats better get their heads out of there. No, nah, it was something, something with this. You know, it's something about that uh, that um, uh, guy. Uh, Which guy? I, I, you know, when, when I was in in Malaga, we we had to watch we had to watch American TV because right. we don't understand Spanish. You know, right. so I do. Paso uh, de Pepe, Tour of War. So there you go. Well, I, I can <laughs> something. Dos cervezas para mí, por favor. Does that mean how much for the little girl? I have no idea what that means. No, two, so two bear, two big bear for me. Uh, thank ah, you. Ah, okay. Well, I know it's Paso de Pepe, por favor, and I know that's not real. But anyway, go ahead. So you were okay, watching okay. American yeah. TV. Who were you watching? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, uh, the, uh, we had three uh, news channels. Uh, uh, one, two, two lefties and one right. Uh, I don't remember the names. Okay. Uh, it, you know, uh, right. when I'm on holiday, I I, I relax. But uh, and also in in um, in a restaurant, I I spoke with the American couple. Mm -hmm. uh, well, she was not to open the 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 lady, but but the guy, he was on to me. He he was a doctor, and um, he he told almost as you did. Uh, thirty seconds ago, that right. it's no problems for us on the middle up class. Right. But the thing is now, uh, as he said, I, I'm a damn good doctor. He he had right. the self confidence. This guy, uh, I didn't ask what kind of doctor he was. Maybe ontologist, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. He 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 had uh, very nice clothing and everything was yeah. okay. But he he said that the thing is there is the the elite in 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 USA and the rest of uh, it, it's gone over here to 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 Europe as well. I can see it. He said because right. uh, probably he was. Uh, Fourteenth uh, uh, Spanish or whatever. I, yeah. I I see it also here in Europe. The elite is going up and are taking more people with them. So mm -hmm. when we then we have a we don't. He told me how many billionaire it was in in America, uh, and we spoke about it here. I don't remember, right. but it's so huge now th this class. Yeah. And they just just want more, 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 more. And then he said the middle class is going to go away. Yes, they'll be it's, poor it, billionaires. It, it it will disappear of, of itself because, and then we will see the gap. And right. then it it's dangerous. He said because if you see the gap and if you see by the history back, then it's wartime. Now, civil, just, so you know, civil. just so you know, 813 billionaires in the United States. Okay. And 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 the problem is going to be, you talk about wartime, not so much wartime, there'll be civil war. And I civil. think... Civil, yeah, yeah. And I think that's what... My mom used to say that. And she was saying that since like the 70s. At some point, people are going to be enough is enough. So she saw it back yeah. in 1970, which I thought was interesting. Yeah. But I see her point now is like... Yeah. I see people that can't afford, they have to, have to make a choice. Like, you know, can we do this or can we do, and you shouldn't live like that. We should, mm -hmm. I don't, if you should, everyone should have a standard of living where your child or you does not have to worry about food and clothing. So if you want to, if we want to do whatever we're going to do, you're either going to build a wall, but you're going to be building a wall in U S cities because it's going to be the super wealthy keeping out everyone else. And then you're going to have to put your own supermarkets and whatever there, because there's no way to get you your food. So I think what's coming, unless something changes in the next, say, five years, 10 years, is you're going to have a big civil war globally where yeah. people are going to be like, yeah. enough. It's yeah. going to be like, we're going to go after the rich because we're tired of it. Um, so I, I see think that's Mad Max. Where we're heading. Yeah, I, I, like I see Mad, Mad Max. Max. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, but but which I, is interesting. I, I, I will also have to say that it, it's so crazy that, uh, you know, I, I, I was in the county for four years. And, and right, right. Um, uh, when I was elected, 
um, something happened. So I get into the, uh, we were only 15 uh, people in, in the, in the core uh, right. group, you know, and, and right. we had payment right. and we had so much payment, much too much. Uh, I um, I had a, I, I was almost insulted, but then after maybe a year, the, because the the last sitting uh, membership, they you we are deciding our own um, uh, payment. Wow, isn't that fantastic? That's crazy. Yeah, sure. Pay so, yourself a million dollars a year. Yeah. So then I I, I got the papers uh, online and oh, next ca uh, uh, next meeting we, we are discussing uh, how how much uh, uh, salary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This isn't right. I think. Well, here's what's funny. It there's a case. It has to be I, the same. Yeah, but there was a case a year or two ago. A city in California. The police chief, the mayor, all these people were making like three or four hundred thousand a year because they got the vote on their pay. And I'm yeah. talking about a little. I'm talking about a little city. I'm not talking about like yeah. a big city like New York or Los Angeles. I'm talking about a little city. And I'm sure they have more than ten people, but like there's ten yeah. people, three police officers, and the police. They're all making stupid money, and like the rest of the everyone else is making under a hundred thousand. And it was a. They did a report, and they got all removed and whatever. But that's the problem. People get a little taste of it, and then they're like, I want more, I want more, and more. And granted, I like more, but I also make sure the people that work for us get more as well, because without them, we don't get more. And that's the problem. You look at these guys, and they're not doing that. And so at some point, the population as a whole is going to have a problem with everything, because you'll be like, I can't feed my kid. I can't do this. I can't do that. And they're going to be like, pardon my French, but they're going to be like, fuck it. And that's yeah. an attitude that we're getting close to now, just in our election. People are like, fuck it. So there's no winner in this election, whether it's a Republican or Democrat. There is going to be, I, I think, unrest either way, because it's not the rhetoric that the Republicans are coming out with is like a bunch of lies, a bunch of bullshit, and a bunch of basically we have to beat people up. And the Democrats are just laying there and taking it. And I don't think that at the end of at the end of November, and then when they do the swearing in again, I think there's a problem. I think America has a deep problem, and they're going to have to change something. Do you remember uh, the band from uh, Denmark? Probably not. Uh, it, it was called Gasoline. I've heard the name. Had, I don't remember it. They, they had some hits uh, also, at least in, in Europe. Ah, they had because they when they started they, they they were trying to 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 make a success all over the world so yeah, right, right. they they i know they had a tour in in in, uh, in america but um this guy is dead now but he was he ha still has some 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 tapes of him you know and uh, and on facebook on on uh, on on places now i see that the climate is now uh, rising, uh, you know, the waves are, are a bit uh, uh, crusher, it's more right. white uh, in, in the ocean, and he, they are using what he said was basically, um, what do we need politicians for if it's mm -hmm. not for the common man and woman in right. my street? My, my, my hometown and, my, and they my, don't and they and they don't the politicians are out they for the don't politicians care. right and they're out for the companies they write them checks and the donors that write them checks that's it um and that's Multi, multinational multinational yeah. uh business and they are helped they give each other uh, okay uh, yeah. and now i read that uh, coca-cola uh owns uh via you know uh uh, Pepsi Cola, P Pepsi. No, they don't own Pepsi. They don't okay, own Pepsi I don't know. I don't really? Know. Hold maybe, on. Let maybe... me look at. Let me look at Coca Cola. It, I gotta look at this. It it was uh, via some. Uh, you know they have. You, you know you're a. Uh, 
professor yeah. in economics. You yeah, just so you know, this. Coca-Cola does not own Pepsi. Just FYI, I just checked. Okay, <laughs> I was like, I would have heard about yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah, uh, we we leave that uh, until Friday for for uh, crazy uh, grandpa. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy grandpa, we're, we're going to record tomorrow. That should be a fun show. Not only on Friday, um, so ad hoc. And, and, and hearts and arts are going to be more tame with more rational thought. I'm going to do Crazy so. Grandpa, and Crazy Grandpa is just going to go off on tangents. Um, and I don't have any idea what this show's, this week's show is going to be, but this should be a very interesting show this week with Crazy Grandpa. Uh, I, I know the topic. I won't tell me. Should I, I want to be surprised tomorrow. I want to be okay, surprised. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so it's going to be, I, 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 I it's will gonna, not tell you. It's going to be crazy grandpa going off, and it'll be an interesting thing. But, uh, interesting but thing. If, yeah. if, if, if we think now, um, if I were a billionaire, yeah, um, and I had enough for uh, an, enough money to live until I was uh, 300 years old, okay. right. why should I urge? For more money, I know, I know. It's 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 capitalism. Mm -hmm. It it's normal, right. kind of. But right. if you think it over, why don't you? Uh, b because we we have uh, in, in Norway some kind billionaires, right, right, and they are giving shitload to 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 young people to you know uh, football uh, to, right. to, to 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 make things. Uh, in, in 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 the in the di in the districts as well, you right. know. So so, I would have done that. Well, because it's interesting. You in America, can't you you can't you can't bring your money with you in in, in you the die. grave. I think, but the interesting thing is they're going to make people live longer, but they're not going to give them health care. So that's not going to work out real well. <laughs> um, and billionaires here, they they. What they do is they donate a building at a university when their kids are too stupid to get into the university. It's like, uh, all right, listen, they're not buying, 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 buying yep. admission, right? Um, there's a couple that I know that what they do is they do um, um, pet shelters. So they'll dedicate the oh. pet shelter and they'll be like, okay, that's good. Like you're doing something, right, with your money. Um, and then others that I know, they just, I like, I'll go visit them and we go, I go to their lair and they've got, you know, 450 exotic cars. And I'm like, how often do you drive them? They're like, never. I just have them. And I'm like, dumbest thing I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, yeah, you can have, because yeah. I'm like, two or three cars is fine. Four, maybe. But when you yeah, start getting yeah. into double and triple digits, unless you're yeah. driving, unless you're Jay Leno, who is truly an enthusiast about cars. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And knows every detail and every nut and every bolt and every history, then the rest of it's just because I can I can because I'm bored, I don't know what to do with my money. Yeah, and to me, yeah. I can find things to do with my money that yes, I get pleasure out of, but I can also help other people. Um and then that's it. But a lot of but, them, yeah, they don't. I I spoke with uh, I, I was not attending uh, but but I, I know a psychologist and he right. says that economical problems is mm -hmm. is is one of the things uh, uh, a shrink are, are looking into. Right. But there's not only what you think then automatically he says is that people don't have uh, enough money, but. You won't believe me," he said. "Who is visiting me and my? Uh, yeah, the guys in, with money. In, my, my, the guys with money. Because yeah. if they if they lose on the stock, yep, if yep. they uh, if they do some shit uh, work, mm -hmm. you know, and and they get frauded, yep. they're just they go to the toilet. Most of yep. them as well, and and um, they for them because. It's a long way up. You remember, you know, it's a yep. long way up. On on the way up, don't be too nasty yep. with with don't these be, don't because be too much of an ass. Because on the way down, you, mm -hmm. you because when when or if you're on the way down, you will meet the same guys. Yeah. Okay, so so, but it, I don't know what. This is it. It's um, uh, it's it's the sickness. He 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 tells me it it's uh, uh, more 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 more. Yeah. yeah. Uh, la well, like if, if 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 money was sand. He 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 told me a story. If money was sand, mm -hmm. 
they would fight about the 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 desert. Yeah. Well, think about it. From the beginning of history, all we do is fight over land. So now, when you have money, yeah, you fight yeah. over money, you fight over company. You fight. It's, it's for me when we do deals. It's a sport. It's just enjoyable, right? Because we're not trying to screw. But some of these guys are just because they want to add another comma, and I'm like. You know, after yeah. a while, you have enough commas in your bank account. It's more of like, this is fun to do. What else can we do? Who can we bring up? Like, you know, we do stuff with people. We'll, like, we'll say, okay, let's start a, a fun with somebody. And they have a great idea. Like, who can we help get from A to Z now? Who can we bring yeah. up? Who can we help create wealth? And then we are like, now you have to pay that forward. So we help them get started. We get our investment back with a profit. And now they're on their own. And now they can help somebody. So in that case, all for it. But when people are like, I'm just building my wealth after wealth after, really, why? Do you really need a trillion dollars? You want to be the first trillionaire? Oh, okay, that's great. Then what are you going to do? Yeah. You know, it's like, it becomes that, one that, of those then it's Then it's quaternaire, so whatever it would be. Right, right? So then, it's like after a while, it's like, eh, who cares? Because yeah. it's going to make it that the normal person can't afford anything. And as you're becoming this trillionaire, you better realize that when the normal people get annoyed and pissed off at you, unless you're living on another planet, you're screwed. Because I don't care how many bodyguards you have or what building or home you live in or what country you live in. When the normal people go, fuck you, you're pro you have a problem. And so not, you not remember, many people. Sorry, uh, not many people know this of, of, of my neighbors and, and, and friends and stuff like that, because. I had an earlier life before I met my dear one, you know, right. and then uh, I had a business who was running like a boom Maserati. Right, right. And I was, me and Evin, I always had business with Evin, um, and you could Im imagine me and Evin in, in, in a business <laughs> meeting. So <laughs> fun, <I> so <laughs> fun. <laughs> but, but, okay. Um, I was then uh, uh, a millionaire, right, right. and I, I had um, two Mercedeses, I had um, uh, bodyguards, I had my own driver, I was buying clothes every day, I right, had right. my personal shopper, you know, every everything, right, right. you know, and, and I, I took, um, we were, uh, it was a Friday night, we, we were sitting and... Uh, in, in a nice uh, place uh, having a drink but you know from Norway we, we drink like uh, Thor and, um, right. and, and and the others you know yeah, so yeah. suddenly we were at the airport and I said and I was there I had the money uh, yeah. so, so some others as well to be honest but then we, we said we want to have the first plane uh, we want to book the first plane from here. Okay. And then is, uh, they said, w w w but where are you going? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> how how should we know? We, yeah. you, you have to know. The first plane we want it now. Right. Well, we, we have a plane going to, to Hamburg in, in, right. in, 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 in Germany. Okay, let's go. And we went. There you go. And uh, uh, ad hoc down the... Uh, and, a party at the plane and when we came down there was a limo you know coming come on it doesn't make sense it's playing it's well I, I was single and I was crazy and I was yeah. uh, you know uh, whatever but uh, you have to kind of you have to have been there to mm -hmm. understand right it, it it's something there, you know. Uh, yeah. uh, it doesn't matter if you tell me, try to explain me uh, 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 a cigar, how, how it smells. I, I have to, I have, have to, to hold it, and, and you have to experience. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I've been poor. I've been poor right. enough to to go to social security. So right. so, uh, I, I try both. Now I'm in the middle, and happy. There you go. Now I'm so happy. Yeah. I'm in the middle. Doesn't well, matter. I have my. I can take vacations. Uh, I can roll them with my wheelchair. I. I would like to have it to go a bit faster, but. Right. <laughs> can I go so fast? Uh, 
I love it. That's okay. great. I think we're gonna, what, what, I think we're going to end the show on that. You're happy. I think we're just going to end the show. That's a perfect. To, and then yeah, but you, the show. you you are happy also, and I oh, think Lord. people as people are growing up, right? Because uh, growing up, uh, it, it, you know, the brain uh, situation like left and and right. You know, right. Um, I've always used the left one um, most. Right. Uh, you, you can measure it, you know, with um, and uh, people who uses the left brain uh, because I I have terrible pain, so right. I've been in this pain. Um, uh, you know, they they had a lot of knots uh, right, tested right. on you, and they told me you're lucky because if you if you are optimistic, right. and if you feel if you know yourself and that it's not the same as confidentiality now no, to, to, to be um, confident. You, yeah. But if you know yourself and you accept things like you do now, you have mm -hmm. to roll in, uh, you know, I'm singing roll in, roll in, roll in. Yep. Yeah. And, and, and um, then you will probably not live longer than others. But you will have more fun. Well, it's the, and it's... you don't feel the pain so much if you right. had the right. If you were um, still th thinking that, oh, why didn't I do that? I, uh, why didn't I right. do this to earn money to to do? You know, and because goes... then you can be, can become bitter and right. Well, that goes to the adage: the man who dies once dies once a man who's scared of everything dies a thousand times a day so i've gone through my whole life that i'm not scared of shit and so when i go no, i'm going i'm going one time instead of being worried yeah. about everything got no point yeah. now i play the what if game and i think through things but at the end of the day it is what it is nothing i can do about it all i can do is be the best and that's it but i don't sit there and worry oh my god yeah we're fine we'll be good but so. but you're one of the little people you know of what? Oh, well, that's true. The Illuminati lizard. Yeah, that's a thing. What can I tell you? <laughs> Everybody, thank you so, so much. Don't forget, next week, Hearts and Arts, Morton will be having his art show with some world-famous artists. That'll be interesting. Um, Ad hoc will be, um, I think this is going to be on Wednesday. Crazy Grandpa is going to be on Friday. That's going to be a fun show. Yeah, you don't want to miss Crazy Grandpa. Um, and that's the name of the show, by the way. So you don't want to miss that one. And you can catch us wherever you get your podcast. And we'll see you guys all next week. Either it'll be hearts and arts or ad hoc or both. We don't know. We'll see. But uh, Morton will be back next week and we'll go from there. And he'll be on Crazy Grandpa. So you get to hear two sane guys in Crazy Grandpa. So that'll be fun. And we'll see everybody next week. Cheers, everybody. La revedere. There you go. Don't forget to subscribe and like.